To find the image of an object in a concave mirror, we're going to be using similar rules to the ones we used for lenses. Uh, the one thing that we have to know here before is to find the focal point, that the focal point is halfway between the radius and the mirror. So if this is the radius of the mirror, the focal point is here. The first special ray that we're using is the one that is parallel. Parallel rays, they go through the focal point. That's actually how we found uh, the focal point in the first place, or the definition of the focal point. It's where parallel rays meet. So if we have an object here, if I put a ray that is parallel to the central axis, it will go through the focal point. Like this. The second special ray is the one that goes through the focal point. That one becomes parallel, kind of the inverse uh, of what we just did. It's so the one that goes through the focal point, becomes parallel. So we actually already know that the image is here, where those two meet, but we can confirm with the last one. Uh, it's a bit different from the lenses. In the lenses, the last one is the one that goes straight through, is undeviated. Here, the one that hits the center reflects as if there would be a plane here, uh, reflecting it. So, you will have from the normal incoming angle is equal to outgoing angle. So, I should have measured here. The incoming angle is equal to the outgoing angle, and I have found my image. So in this case, the image is a real image in front of the mirror. The rays are really uh, meeting here. The concave mirror actually is very similar to a convex lens or a converging lens. Uh, it's better to say it's a converging lens. Uh, and the fact that it can produce a real image or a virtual image. As with the converging lens, if the object is left of the focal point, we get a real image, and we could suspect that if the object is to the right of the focal point, actually let's move it here to the right of the focal point, that we should get a virtual image. So let's see if that actually works out. So, first I'm going to take my parallel ray that goes through the focal point. I'm assuming that there will be virtual image. I think they will meet in the back, so I'm already drawing this line here. Then I have the one that goes through the focal point will become parallel. So, a line, or a ray that went through the focal point, through my object, will become parallel. And then the last one that goes through the middle, so the middle was actually here. So I have incoming angle is outgoing angle. If I backtrack, I meet in the same location, which is my virtual image. And here I have the real image.